If you are a coin collector, know a coin collector, or are thinking about getting into collecting coins, please watch this video in its entirety and share it on social media with your friends. It is up to us to help protect the community and spread the word against scammers that are trying to get your hard-earned money. Hi everybody, Silver Picker here and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now today's video is a super important one because it is all about uncovering a classic coin collector scam that targets you. That's right, I'm talking about a very common scam that you need to be aware of. Now if you are a veteran collector and you've been collecting for a long time, this scam will probably not trick you. But if you're a new collector and you're just sort of dipping your toes into the hobby, you need to watch out because this targets not just you but also your loved ones. That's right, grandma and grandpa are targets too. So stay tuned and learn to protect yourself from this scam. Well what am I talking about specifically? These. These coins are total scams. Now, they look innocent enough, right? They're just coins in a nice holder, right? So what's wrong with them? Well, these coins are specifically designed to target young numismatists, new collectors, and those buying gifts for them into spending huge amounts of money on what amounts to being pure junk. Now, I'll tell you more about the scamming company that makes these in a second, but first, let's take a closer look at these and see what makes these absolute garbage. So what they do is use psychology tricks to make you think that these coins are much more valuable than they actually are. They use these three tricks in particular. The first trick they use is to package these coins in familiar looking packaging to make you think that these are official US Mint products. Something like this. This is a United States Mint proof set. This is an official product made by the United States Mint. Now I'm not necessarily saying that this is a great deal and you should go out to buy these, but it's certainly not a scam. This is an absolute scam and take a look at that. They use the same exact case the same dimensions exactly as an official US Mint product. And that is done deliberately, intentionally, to trick you into thinking that this is a legit set of coins when it is in fact nothing of the sort. The second trick they play on you is they use fancy imagery and historical motifs like Rosie the Riveter and the soldiers at Iwo Jima to anchor these coins in your mind with the historical events that are portrayed on these cardboard cards that are holding the coins. What that does is it makes your brain interpret this as, oh, World War II is an important event, therefore these coins must be connected with World War II and therefore must be important as well. However, just because something is associated with a historical period doesn't mean that it's monetarily valuable or worth what you're paying for it. In this case, this is worth 25 cents at best and you're paying $10 for a piece of cardboard that you could print out yourself at home. The third psychological trick that these scammers use to part you with your hard-earned money is by appealing to the authority of a BS certificate of authenticity. You've heard me say it a million times, but anyone in the year 2020 can print a COA. They are meaningless. The fact that a company that's selling you their own products certifies it as whatever of some degree of quality is meaningless. Let's take a look at this. This one says, this certificate of authenticity attests to the fact that the coins in this collection are all genuine United States it's mint coinage. Well, that's true, but so what? This collection consists of genuine coins, we already know that, each one hand selected and inspected for quality. I don't know what on earth they're talking about. What quality exactly are they talking about, about this worn down 1944 Lincoln cent? This is absolute garbage. This is not quality coinage. Each coin is verified to be in collectible condition. What the heck does that mean? What does collectible condition mean? And how on earth does somebody verify it? We are sure that your collection will be one that you will enjoy and be proud to display. The American Historic Society is pleased to have procured it for you. This is a load of hooey. Any longtime collector knows that this stinks to high heaven, but if you're new to the hobby, or let's say you're a grandpa who knows that his little granddaughter or grandson is a coin collector, they might want to buy it for them, and they'll have good intentions, but they will be getting ripped off, and it is doing nobody any favors to buy this junk. Don't do it. You may be saying to yourself now, but Silver Picker, the coins are authentic, so what's the problem? Well, the issue isn't with the coins themselves per se, it's with the price to value ratio. How much you're paying versus the value you're actually receiving. In this case, these pennies are all common dates, 
They're in horrible condition, and some of them are even clean, which destroys their value even more. At most, these pennies are worth between three and five cents a piece, making this worth at most 25 cents. This one with the four war nickels, again, horrible condition, common dates, and cleaned, these war nickels are worth their silver melt weight, meaning they're worth about a dollar a piece. With these pennies worth about five cents a piece, we've got $4.20 on this one and 25 cents on this one. However, they retailed for about $10 to $20 or even more each. That is absolutely absurd. The company that produces these is called UPM. Not to be confused with UPMA, which is an unrelated and very reputable company, but UPM, which is sold under the name American Coin Treasures, is absolute garbage. Let's take a look at some of the things that they have for sale and see what kind of ripoff they are. First off is this one. I've actually gotten this particular coin in a grab bag, which you can see in another video of mine. It contains literally one 1912 Liberty V nickel. American Coin Treasures sells it for $20 plus shipping. On eBay, without this fancy holder, you can get the exact same coin for $1.90 with free shipping. At a coin store or coin show, it would be about 25 cents. And don't believe the picture. They show a coin in excellent condition, but what they actually ship you is pure junk. But see, remember the psychology, they make you think that this cheap nickel has something to do with the Titanic because it was minted in the year that she sank. If you wanna do your part in protecting young numismatists and other new coin collectors in our community, please take a moment to like this video and share it on social media. Aside from doing me a solid and helping promote my channel, this is a really, really important video to get out there into the world. So what else can you get for $20 on American coin scammers? I mean treasures. How about a 1957 $1 silver certificate? Total junk. This banknote sells at coin stores and coin shows for about $1.50. On eBay, this one sold for $2.54, including shipping. And it's a star note to boot. Do not buy this stuff from UPM and do not let anyone you know buy this stuff. Honestly, this company should be investigated for fraud. I'll show you one last one, but I could really go on forever. Literally every coin on their website is a massive ripoff. Let's take a look at some silver. Here we have 15 mercury dimes from the World War II era. Again, look at the psychology trick. And they are selling it for an enraging price of $200. These people at American Coin Treasures are scum. $200 for this? That is a 1,000% premium over the silver spot price. Let's take a look at eBay. On eBay, this lot of 100 Mercury Dimes sold for $165. That's right, you get 100 Mercury Dimes and save $35, enough to buy two more ounces of silver with the same amount of money that American Coin Scammers, I mean Treasures, offers you for $50. Mercury dimes. Disgusting. So, are you convinced? Have you learned something? If you have, I would love it if you'd consider hitting that big red subscribe button. It costs you nothing and it helps encourage me to continue making awesome videos like this one. If you want a more concrete way to support my mission in informing, educating, and entertaining people all about coin collecting, precious metals investing, and even personal finance, or how you can earn a little bit of extra money on your own terms, please consider supporting my Patreon campaign. With that, you will get access to my private Discord server, which is basically this amazing chat room with me and the other members of the Silver Picker Squad talking about coin collecting strategies, precious metals investing, and even sharing great deals on gold and silver. So I would love to meet you there and get to know you better. So see you in the Discord. I'm hoping to do more videos in this series on protecting you guys and helping our community avoid all these horrible scams that target young numismatists and new coin collectors. So stay tuned for that. I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike, so stay tuned and until next time, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. Thank you so much for your generous support. It means the world to me. It's also been great getting to know you in the Discord. And this month in June, I have so much cool stuff that I'm gonna be posting to the Patreon only page. So if you're not yet a patron, now's the time.